Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'll be showing you my most recent project, which is um, my game database um, project. <clears throat> and uh, here's some code. Basically, I have my back end and my front end. Um, my back end, I'm using Ruby on Rails. And then the front end, I'm using React. Um, so basically, this is just my file structure right here. Um, the different files that I have, my controllers for the back end, um, and my other stuff, my routes, things like that. So what I'll be doing is basically just walking through my application. Um, I'm also going to show you this is my back end. Um, this is my front end where I use React and um, Redux. I have all my different files here, my container, my components, my containers, um, my photos here, my actions for my reducer. Um, yeah, so this is just my basic file structure. All right, so let's get into it. Let me show you uh, the app that I've been working on. Okay, so this is the game database app. Uh, this is the home page. On the home page, there's just images of recent games that are coming out um, in the next couple of days. And then here I also have articles, um, game articles on different games, game news and things like that. Um, you can click on any one of these, like this one, and it will automatically take you to that uh, article where you can read it. Um, if we go back to the home page, we can uh, also see that we have a navigation bar up here. Um, if you click on games, you'll be able to search up a game. So let's say you want to search up Halo 2. You search up, um, you, you type in Halo 2 and you click the search button, and then all of the games that have um, Halo 2 in it will appear in the search um, search uh, menu. Um, I basically use a API. Um, it's called the International Game Database API, and I fetch information from that API. So if you click on, let's say, Halo 2, it shows the cover art for the game, the game rating, what platforms it came out on, uh, different videos from YouTube, screenshots, and also games that are similar to uh, Halo 2. Um, so we can go back to the games page. Let's say we want to look up The Witcher 3. We click on, we click search and then we click on The Witcher 3. And as you can see also, it brings up all of the information for the game. Um, now, um, I also have a councils uh, page, which I uh, actually created my own uh, backend, my, my own uh, API with Ruby on Rails, where it fetches information from the backend. So it, is, it has different consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. Um, more consoles will be added in the future. Uh, if you click on Xbox, you see that it brings up the information um, for Xbox. It brings up like the release date, the company, generation, launch date, CPU, just basic information on the console. Um, we can also click on the game database icon and go, that will take us back to the home page. Um, I also have an about page with just a basic information about the application and also a photo of myself. Um, and we also have um, a login page. Uh, I'm adding login functionality in the future, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, um, this is uh, my application. Thank you.